Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. We have Lotto. Big Lotto. Big Lotto. Big Lotto. Big Lotto. Big Lotto. Yeah. Lotto. The biggest. Welcome. <laughs> What's happening? The album comes out this Friday. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm like feeling everything at once. Like I'm nervous, mm -hmm. but I'm anxious, mm -hmm. but I'm happy. See, I like that honest answer because I, I always said after COVID, when you ask somebody how they doing, yeah, you you, you got to ask that sincerely, yeah. and expect like an honest answer. An honest answer. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited though. It's been a long time coming. How are you feeling I, personally as a human? Forget the album, just you. Trying to trying to wrap my head around it all. Like it's happening so fast, and then it's just like a lot that I wasn't like made aware of, and it's just like. Like what? What was you made, made aware of? Just like how in depth this stuff get, like it get crazy. What you mean in depth? I just came to rap. <laughs> just came to work. you you a business now. Now yeah. the work begins. Yeah. Well, look, since we're being honest here, yeah, we want you to clear something up. Now okay. somebody called for Ask Ye. Well, first of all, congratulations on the number one record, right? Yes. Just had Big Thank Energy you. was number one. Congrats. Thank big you. Big Energy. A lot of people was in their feelings about that song. Yeah. If they didn't have that big energy, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh -huh. But one of our listeners called in, and I want to get your advice. Here was her question. Mm -hmm. I started talking to a new guy, and like everything was good, but like he kind of has like some female tendencies that I don't like. They kind of make me like cringe a little bit. What, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by female tendencies? So, like, sometimes he'll sing songs that are, like, a little bit too feminine, like, things, like, songs that he shouldn't be singing. And like what song? Have, what songs are like, feminine songs? Okay, Pressure by Ari Lennox. Or Big <laughs> Energy by Big Lotto. Like, I don't feel <laughs> like a man should be singing those songs. Like, Lotto I ain't gonna lie, those... I, I love both... record was the number one record, man. I love both those songs, but, okay. Female. As a female, yes, I love both those songs, and I would sing them, but I don't think a man should be singing about those songs. <laughs> what do you say, Lotto? I don't agree with advice. that. Do you say big, big energy, or as a guy, you can't sing that song? I think you can. First of all, I try, at least, maybe not every song, but I try to make the most um, unisex music, I think, like, out of a lot of female rappers, I think I'm the one that makes music for both genders, like, my... Uncles, my cousins, my man, his friends, like they be bumping my junk. Now, as a man of average penis size, I was highly offended by your song. Uh, I told you. Big, I told big, but if you it. listen to the song, it's not about what's in your pants, though. It's not. Because I got big in there, He says, but go ahead, continue on, Charlamagne. Shut up. Why you, what's up with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> she already from Atlanta, okay? Relax, bro. Like, what's up? <laughs> it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not a, like, gender thing, or it's not literally what's in your pants, though. Oh, Although that so energy just, does transfer over. I mean, the confidence that you have. Yeah, but that's where the saying come from because yeah. it come from, like, you know how they say men that know they got a lot of, you know, yeah. stain in their pants, they be walking around like they sh don't stain. You know? I just feel like all penis sizes matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's very that's hurt. All. He cried. It's not about that. <laughs> 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 he did. <laughs> Well, it's not about that. E this morning, so we'll be all right. Now, Mariah, have, you ever, have you ever been wrong about somebody's energy, though? Goodness gracious. Like somebody oh. walk in and they got that BDE, but then, you know, they was just... Have I ever been wrong? I don't think I've ever been wrong. I really could smell that from a mile away. God damn. What you smell yeah, like? I'm like what that. You no, I don't want to <laughs> have mercy. Mariah Carey, she cleared his hand for no problems? <laughs> uh, Tom Tom Club cleared his hand. Tom Tom Club. Yeah, that's the yeah. original. That's the original. Yeah. Yeah. Love, right? yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, genius of love. Genius of love. Yeah. What do you call big? Is it like, like, You're like, did they hang like gosh, your ponytail? Like, what is big? I knew you were just going to give me just problems. <laughs> I'm just asking. I just want to know. He's really hurt by big it. Big what? Big energy, big lotto. Big energy. Big D, B, well, let me bring big down energy. Before you it. His uh, wife. Oh, don't do that. Don't wife. do that. Bro, what uh -huh. is you talking cheated about? Cheated on him with a guy with a all bigger right, penis. Right. His wife cheated with Maxwell. Oh, that's what it is. His wife cheated with Maxwell. That is not true. I don't want to know all the tea. Exactly. I don't want to know like, all the I came here to work, I don't guys. Want to know. <laughs> that was years ago. We've been together for a long time. <laughs> it's <laughs> not about what's in your pants. I don't care who cheated on who. I just remember back in the day we had Trina up here, and Trina said, tennis is or bigger is big. What is wrong with you? Listen, all I know is, Lado, can so, we both agree so that there asking, is what? some uh, small energy in this room from the two of them this morning? No, I'm not going to do them like that. No. Yeah. Because this is feeling insecure. It's giving insecure. We're asking questions. Why can't we ask questions? 
I'm just asking questions. Anyways, back to the caller, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, I don't agree with Shawty. I think that men can listen to them songs. But now they can sing them. Like, Yes, they can. Okay. I agree. Yes, they can. I mean, because if the not, then the then I'm then y'all exit me out of fifty percent of uh of the market. That's right. You can't do me like that, girl. I'm trying to get this money. And technically, the song is about men. Yeah. 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 And and that's why I had added those things like in the beginning where I said, um, "Hey, daddy, when you gonna stop playing?" Like I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to just be like stepping on niggas. Like I wanted it to be like. You, you know, don't want to hurt nobody's family. Yeah. He says that to me every morning, yo. What's that? Hey, Daddy, when you gonna stop playing? I didn't know where the hell you was getting that from. <laughs> this him. guy is crazy. He plays Please why, stop. He plays why, why is the album title 777? And I see you got it tatted on you next to the yin and the yeah, yang. Yeah, I've been had this tatted on me for, like, this is one of my first tattoos. So seven always been, like, my favorite number. It's God's number. God's number. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone who I love, favorite number is seven. Like, my grandma, my daddy, everybody, favorite number is seven. Tripled. You know, overcome six 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 and baby, we I'm God's child, baby. I'm God's favorite, matter of fact. So you know, I don't play about that. So, but when I changed my name to Lotto in reference to the lottery, like casino, jackpot, whatever, it became a part of my brand then. But it just kind of just fell in place because it was already something that meant a lot to me, anyways. Mm-hmm. And then you know, the album and stuff. I just wanted to like. With the previous name, just harboring that negative energy and stuff, I just wanted to, like, turn over a new leaf, like, new chapter, new era. And I think it's been manifesting, like, good things. Mm-hmm. No, I like that, especially the whole 666 thing. It's like, yo, why not flip that? Yeah. And let's do God, 777. Right. Yeah, I like Yeah, because I be seeing people do that. I be like, what, what the fuck wrong with y'all? Mm-hmm. Like, we don't do that. Uh-uh. Who was your faith growing up? Like Christianity. Christianity? For sure, yeah. We don't play. Like, my grandma, like, you ain't touching that food unless, unless you say grace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, another big conversation is who's from Atlanta? Clearly not me. No, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there such a big conversation about who's from Atlanta, who's not from Atlanta, who's around on the outskirts of Atlanta, who's um, in Atlanta? I don't think. I don't think it's just Atlanta, though. Like, Amaretta was really just saying, like, because so many other people from different cities was relating to it, too. She was just speaking from Atlanta. Like, they'd be like, oh, if you're not from the actual city, don't claim the actual city. But, baby, I'm one thing about it, I'm going to let you know I'm from Clayco. I'm going to let you know that. But to the masses, to the world, y'all probably never even heard of Clayco. So, to the world, I'm from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really people not from there that just be like, oh, yeah, she's from Atlanta. And yeah. y'all represent Atlanta, too. Like, yeah. the culture of it. Yeah. And you got on the remix. Yeah. Because I'm, I I fuck with Amaretta. Like, she hard. Like, she could rap. And no, I understood what she was saying. Like, it wasn't no shade. Like, people was trying to flip it into this thing. Like, oh, she's shading you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I ain't taking it as shade. Like, I'm like, she, literally, she said, like, she said what she said. It's not a lot. Mm-hmm. Isn't it crazy that people could have started, like, a beef, because you know how yeah. fans want to jump in and be like, oh, she talking crazy about you. Imagine if you would have fed into that and been like, man, yeah, I didn't. I could have. I could have for sure. Like, they do that a lot. Mm-hmm. They do that a lot, especially with female rappers. Like, they do that. They can't wait to pin y'all against each other. And that's why I always say nine times out of ten when the girls is beefing or they got an issue, underlying issue, it don't be them. Like, we were really, we got so much stuff to relate to in real life. We got so many stories that we can tell each other and be like, girl, you going through that? I'm going through that, too. Like, Mm -hmm. it be the blogs and the fans and stuff, and it's really not fair to us because in real life, we would probably get along. Does does online harassment ever, like, impact your your mental health and your emotional well-being? Yes. Yeah. Like, I'm going through that right now. Like, trying to find me time and, like, self-care, like, make sure my mental is straight because when it's, I always say when it when it starts to not be fun no more, I'm going to take a break and recollect, recollect, whatever. But I'm on tour and stuff, so it's like... Is it fun now? It's fun. It's fun. Like, I'm I'm not going to let that distract me and take away, you know, my happiness. This this is my second project with RCA. It's my first tour, and I'm selling out like crazy. Like, I want to enjoy it. It's fun until you get online. Like, I saw something where you, they was messing with you about having a small stage, which wasn't a small stage. It's 3,000 people. First I'm in Santa Cruz. First of all, selling out a thousand people. A thousand people in Santa Cruz is not coming out to see new artists. Period. So I I'm agree. gonna pop it. That's why I'm still trying to find, you know, the times where it's appropriate <laughs> to talk back. It is not. I like how the Clayton County came out, but then you remember the media training. That's what you. But I'm. Why is it bothering? Because you've been on stages that held forty, fifty thousand, sixty thousand yeah. in the festivals, and then. A but small they, market doesn't matter. I think what what irritates me is because it be so many people that's not in the industry speaking on stuff that have to do with the industry. Like y'all don't have no clue 
of what's going on. Y'all be impressed by these big old stages when I post Rolling Loud or I post um, Made in America. Y'all be like, oh my God, you made it, you made it. Them people is here to see a hundred other people. They is not here just to see me. Like, That's right. Them people in that room screaming word for word songs that I dropped five years ago. So that hit different. And I think that's important when promoting your album to go places that's really just for you. Yeah. And it's more of an intimate feeling where people are like, man, I was there. Like, I seen a lot yeah. of performing just for us. Like you exactly. said, they're there really only for you. Just for me. Like, they just want to see me talk to them intimate setting. And then them fans is going to be with me through, through for the long run. They're going to be with me throughout everything. They're going to be there when I make mistakes. They still going to be there and hold me down. So I'm building my core fan base. Y'all, y'all going to just wait and see. And you do realize that most of these people on social media are just mad that you win it. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I think because I did the rap game, like, so long ago, I been got, like, that dragging on Twitter and stuff. And that's not new to me. Mm -hmm. It's not new to me. So it's like, I still got to figure out when it's not appropriate to clap back. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all got the label offering me media training and stuff now. <laughs> when you was, on, you was on Big Boy... <laughs> and you uh, talked about working on the album and having a problem clearing. Yeah. And then everybody looked at your track list and yes. tried to see what artist that was. It's yeah. like a hip hop who done it at this point. And then Kodak yeah. posted I today. Not... He said that that mulatto girl is not talking about me, homie. I just seen that before I walked in. I my intentions was not to like make this a whole thing. I just was looking at it as like I'm a new female rapper in the game. I wish somebody could have gave me some insight about how this stuff really go. Like, you hear, like, oh, female rappers have it harder, but I really wanted to give, like, a little insight as to, like, what specifically makes it harder for a female rapper. I didn't want it to, like, distract from the music or anything. So, like, I kind of wish, in a way, I didn't say that. How did that person react? Because I'm sure at that point it's like, well, I don't want to be on the album because not everybody going to be looking I'm at sure me. I haven't back heard. I'm cursing you out. I haven't heard from them. Yeah. Have well, you, you know what? If you did that, you should be ashamed yeah. and not want to, you know, like, what are you supposed to do? If you if a guy did that to you, he should really just shut up and yeah. like, or even apologize. Yeah. Or, yeah, or apologize. That, that would mean, because I don't, I mean, I'm not here to raise nobody. I'm just speaking on, like, it's what I go through, mm -hmm. you know, and I think I'm allowed to do that to a certain extent. Social media is trying to turn it into this thing where it's like, oh, I'm trying to clout chase or like silence my experiences. So it's think, hard to know when you should and you shouldn't speak up. I think you're living your truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and if your intentions are to help the next person coming behind yeah. you, like, why not? Because these yeah. are things that we've always heard about, right? right. Like, women are going through but this you don't right even now. know specifically what, like, people always say, oh, it's harder for a female rapper, it's harder for a female rapper, but specifically, what do we be dealing with that people don't know? That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. it's not even just other artists. It'd be managers, producers. Yeah, oh, I'm, that's why I was I was really shocked by that, because I'm like, oh, that's what got y'all shook? Oh, y'all would, Long that was just, sure. yeah. So how, how does that make you, like, if you want to do a record with somebody or you yeah. want to collaborate, now do you say, well, I'm going to get my manager to reach out because I don't oh, want that's, that. Oh, that's what it always be, though. Like, they even switched it like that. they like, oh, well, why would you even reach out to that person? I don't even do that. I don't do business like that. It's always through management. I don't even. It shouldn't have to be like that, though. If you feel the artist and be like, I think he sound dope on this record, you should be able to be like, yo, bro, I think we should collab. And it shouldn't be a problem, you know? It shouldn't. But, but her reality is. Yeah, but it but it reality is it it most likely will be, or that will like you know do something that offends you or try to cross the boundary or whatever. So I always like, especially with male rappers. Was what it Kodak? It, I don't want to say who it was. Mm. Yeah, I so, just feel like because it's gonna distract from the music, and my intentions is not to get anyone dragged or anything. I just wanted to speak from like what what do I deal with? I don't specifically want someone to, you know, get dragged or. That cancel culture shit is a motherfucker. Did other female artists, other female rappers hit you up after that to be like, thank you, yeah. girl, for speaking up? Yeah, they did. And I dope. thought that was real dope. And hopefully, without the mess and the drama, hopefully more people can feel comfortable to speak up. So it's been like that from day one? Like, even when you were just an aspiring rapper trying to get on, it's been like that? Mm-hmm. Man. Man. What did your man have to say about all this? He tried to stay out of the way. Um, I try to keep him out of the way too, cause I don't, I don't want, you know, I don't want him to have any pressure or like feel like he gotta defend me, like I'm straight. Mm -hmm. Cause that had to be hard for him to hear too, yeah. especially when you tell him. I know he like, I yeah. wanna, 
Yeah, for sure. But I think when you dating a female rapper, you just gotta you gotta know some stuff just gonna come with it. Did What's that? Know, what did he hear on the Big Boy interview? No, I, 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 I t- yeah, yeah, I tell him everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he don't like want to go step to the guy. Like, let me go talk to him. I don't know what he want to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting though because I I can feel your I energy can't... come down as soon as you start talking, talking about, about that. It. Yeah, because yeah. I just it just been like too much. It been too much. That's why I'm just ready for the album to come out, the remix. The remakes got clear like just in time. Like mm-hmm. that that was a whole nother thing that was just on my mental like when I tell you I've been stressed out with a K, stressed. 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 <laughs> but it's okay because God got me and I really feel like everything I'm going through right now is just prepping me for what's to come. What perception uh did you have of the industry that, that once you got in you realized it was all wrong? Yeah, I gotta think I was I was rapping at eight years old. Yeah. I did the rap game at sixteen, so I thought everything was peaches and cream. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm like, oh, I just get my makeup done and shoot videos, and then I be number one on Billboard. That's how it go. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought, you know, as a kid coming into it. But I think it made me it made me like grow up faster because I had to see, you know, at, as a as a kid, like, dang, this stuff not sweet. Like, people they they don't give a fuck. Man, what was your first, like, rude awakening, you think? My first rude awakening? Um, it's hard to say. My first? My first rude awakening? I don't, I don't even remember my first. Was it before the rap game or after that or during? Probably, probably like, during, after the rap game stuff. Do mm-hmm. you regret that at all? Because you had to prove so much that you wasn't a reality rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now that I got through it, no. <laughs> but Because it was a lot to get through. It really was. Now that I got through it, no. But going when like, you know, the ups and downs of, like, trying to get away from that image that I was first introduced to the world as and, like, the music changing and just growing up in general, like, that, it did make me be like, man, I wish I never did this shit, da 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 But now I'm grateful because it just shows people, like, this ain't overnight. People been seeing me, you know, I've been working like so it's cool now that I've overcame it and it's like, oh, I see her come up. I respect it. A lot of things are bigger in our mind than they actually are. Cause I didn't know you was on the rap game. Oh, for real? No, first I time love I love me about, people who don't know. I had no idea. First time I heard about you was when you remixed uh Freaky Girl. Okay. When you remixed yeah. Freaky Girl. Uh-huh. So I never knew you anything never, about you the rap game. When you were on the rap game with JD, no? No. No. Mm-mm. Do you keep in touch with any of them from the show? Yeah, some of them, um, J.I., he going crazy. So, um, J.I., Detronata, that's probably it. Mm-hmm. You know, people be jealous. Oh, yeah, they are, because you, out of everybody, I mean. People be jealous. But it's it's all love on my end. I want to see everybody win. Genuinely. Now, you also have the song Trust No Bitch on the album. Yeah. Do you feel like being in a position that you're in, people do try to come at you? Because you know how you try to go for somebody who's winning to get attention. Yeah. Yeah, I really think that. And I just, that's not going to stop. The only thing that I can control is my response to it. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to learn how to, like, they going to they gonna gun for you. They going to try to provoke you. And if you let them, then they going to keep doing it. I just got to go Beyonce on these bitches. And it goes silent. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's hard, though, because your, your, your era grew up on that. Yeah, you know? and then I'm still me. Like, I look, like, it's hard to look at yourself from third per- person point of view. So when the label be like, oh, you got this and this now. Like, yeah, but it's hard for me to look at myself mm-hmm. like that. Like, if you disrespect me, I'm on your ass. It's hard for me not to be. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I think I only find it disrespectful when I actually know the person. Yeah. Like, people I don't know, it's like ghosts. It's like, yeah. hey, what am I, what am I, I doing? Shoot I it a ghost? Of, I wish I thought of it like that. One day I'm going to be like you. You can. <laughs> <laughs> One day. You got a chance to have a conversation with Holly Berry. Yeah. How was that? Holly Berry, Holly Berry. <laughs> she looks so good. First of all, she looks so good. I'm like, girl, I want to grow up and look like you. She looks so good. Did she was so genuine. Did you pick the question you asked or was it already set up? It was already set up. Oh, okay. Because you probably shouldn't the nastiest, say that, but it was. the weirdest sexual request the actress ever received. No, first of all, I really want to put emphasis. I'll, I'll probably get in trouble for this, but I want to put emphasis on that these questions was pre-written because when I seen them, I said, that is disrespectful to ask Halle Berry. That is disrespectful. My grandma would slap me on the head. <laughs> so why you ain't listen to your grandma? But they was like, they that. Show- she said it's okay. So I'm oh, like, oh, got you. Okay. <laughs> so when I seen her, I was like, 
have conversations. I guess so. I'm like, y'all sure? She said it's okay. So I'm like, girl, you, did you see this question? <laughs> oh, you asked oh, before? beforehand? Yeah, I'm like, did you see <laughs> this question? Oh, see that? Okay, sure? yeah. I was like, I thought it was disrespectful. She was like, no, girl, no, girl. So I'm like, okay. Let's what if go. they was punking you? And then she was like, what? I can't that would be That would be mean. <laughs> That would be mean. <laughs> <laughs> that would be mean. Don't set me up with Hallie. <laughs> Are you still in the cars like crazy too? In the what? Cars. Oh, um. What you thought he said? In the Carl's. Oh. Carl's. Cars. Like the hamburgers, but. <laughs> I'm like Carl's. What's Carl's? Cars. 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 Boom, boom. Um, not like nah. Like I can't tell you like parts and stuff. Don't put me on the spot. I don't know about parts, but you. This you was a drag racer. You. you no, no, I did heavy. used to drag race. Like um. I used to ride four wheelers, drag race. I've been on everything that got wheels. What in the Fast and Furious? You was drag racing. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to drag race. Like all the men in my family drag race. Mm-hmm. So it's just like my daddy didn't have a son, and I'm his firstborn. So it was just pretty much like default, like by default. You had to learn how to drag race. Yeah. Her. Now you're doing different kinds of wheelies. Yeah. Now I'm popping in like a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> what does what that I mean? mean? <laughs> pop it like a willy. You know when you pop it, just pop yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Like, you know how you pop it like a willy? Oh, when you drop you it. just pop it. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, you yeah. you put your hands up like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, like I did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, Charlotte, yeah, yeah. did that earlier this morning. He definitely did it this morning. Oh, you did the willy? Show her one time. You did it already. Just we had it. I'm crying. Bro, show her one time. Guys, I know, I know that turned you on, but relax. Y'all, y'all to it. Dang, how you do this? I'm a married man. It's stop. hard. I'm married, married too. Relax. They flirt all morning. It's so awkward for me. Yeah, it got to be. Not, not a lot of mentally and emotionally. Were, you, were yeah. you ready for everything the industry has thrown at you so far? Um, Probably no. Probably no. Just being honest, probably no. But I'm I'm figuring it out for sure. Like I think what keep me going is my passion for the music. Like that's why I started. I came up. I didn't I feel like I caught the end of a generation um that that sold mixtapes and did ciphers and talent shows and came up like the street way, like mm-hmm. passing out flyers and hanging up posters all throughout the city versus like the uh, social media overnight song goes viral whatever and labels reach out like I caught the tail end of like the street work hustle so my heart is really in the game mm-hmm. you know I appreciate where how far I've come and where I'm at now because I used to sell my mistakes for a dollar man yeah I, th- I thought you was signed to Gucci at one point I don't know why I thought that he, he wanted to but I had just signed to um, RCA Wow. That's why he said he said something about it in his verse. Uh, tried to sign Mulatto, but she was signed already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fast. He was he like, was he like a mentor to you coming up? Or? Um, like he was he been my favorite rapper since I was a kid for mm-hmm. sure. And then meeting him, it was just like it put icing on the cake. He sold everything I expected him to be. Mm-hmm. Like he cool as hell. And then I met Keisha, and I was like, girl, I love you, girl. You don't know. You feel like you experimented with the sounds on this album too, like certain yeah. songs. Yeah, I was like the song with Lil Wayne and yeah. Childish Gambino. Yes, I'm really excited for the world to hear that one just because I think it it separates me, and that's been a lot of my thing with this album. I just kept saying I, I don't want it to be an album that could have been put out by any other artist. I wanted it to sound like a fresh sound. I wanted it to be fresh flow, fresh beats, fresh ideas. So. I think that one definitely separates me, so that's one of my that, favorites. That's an interesting collab. Why Why Childish Gambino and Lil Wayne? I'm from Atlanta, Atlanta. first of all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Childish is like, he Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It don't, it don't, and then, first of all, I didn't even think that was even possible. Really? Yeah, who got a Childish verse? Right. Come he on, doesn't he doesn't really do. Yeah. My boy Donald ain't fucking with these new people. <laughs> 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 but, so that was big, and then... Wayne, um, when I first cut the record, that's who I first thought of. But also, too, that it, I was being a little, like, underestimating myself. I'm like, yeah, I would love Wayne to be on it, but let's be more realistic. But they sent it to him, and he did it. Really? So how and did what you about Childish? Childish yeah. They they sent it to him, and he did it. But wow. these are still both both features. I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, just send it, and we'll just see. Like, mm-hmm. basically preparing myself for a no or a pass or whatever. But they both did it, and that, and I that's that's probably my favorite song, besides um, "Trust No Bitch." Just off the fact that it, I think it just showed my respect in the game. Like, 
I'm a new artist and I got two goats on this song and they they not gonna do that for anybody that don't believe in it. So mm -hmm. I think it just shows I'm here for the long run and it just that's My good to show the power that you have. Yeah. I mean, that's so dope. And a lot of producers also just send you beats all the time, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And that's not an easy thing to get either. No. Um, I even get them to pull up on me. Like, I think when you meet me in person, especially when you see me work in the studio and you see how passionate I am, it's like you can't do nothing but respect it. Whether or not you're a fan of the music, whatever, you can't do nothing but respect it. And a lot of the same, um, like you were saying, for the producers, like, they pull up on me and they be like, she really just wrote that by herself? Mm -hmm. Or she really just went in the booth and just did that? Mm -hmm. Like, Sonny did that with the beat. <laughs> the intro, 777 Part 1 intro, is produced by Sonny Digital. Mm -hmm. And he put up on me, and the beat that I chose, he was just like, I could tell he was like, bitch, don't fuck up my beat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I just went in there and freestyled, and he was just like, man, gang, anytime, call me. I'm pulling up anytime. Yo. Yeah. I know we talk about the things that bring you down, and of course the childish and Wayne, you know, feature bought you up. What else yeah. brings you up in this business? Um, like what else gave you that confidence? Like I'm here. Yeah. Um, my big energy remix. Mm -hmm. Who's on it? Ah, I said it was female though. Okay, I like that. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I can't say when yet. When does it come out? Um, the 28th. So Sunday midnight. Sunday midnight. Yeah. Is it just one person or like tell us that much? Give us some. Oh, it's just one. Okay. It's one person and it's a female. Are they from Atlanta? I don't know. It's <laughs> OG, I don't know. OG Youngin. I don't know, Charlamagne. <laughs> You, could, I don't you know. see, could you see yourself um, doing like a whole song singing and just singing and not rapping? Yeah, yeah. Um, my A and R's and stuff, they been like pushing me because I be like, I cannot sing. They be like, you can hold a note. I'm telling you, these bitches, they don't be doing, they don't be singing. They just hold notes. So I'm like, because <laughs> 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 you got a so good voice. Like, like listening to the album, I hear you, you know, singing and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, I could see her doing a whole song. Like you know yeah. how like. Even Lil Wayne will do a whole song yeah. singing or yeah. and things like that. I definitely think I could. I definitely think mm -hmm. I could. I've been telling them I want to do vocal coaching and stuff, too. I was going to ask, you know, I'm reading it. It says you're very jealous in your relationship. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. So Why, who I, sent that to you? Why did <laughs> say that? It doesn't say that. You said, yes, very what? jealous. I don't play that ish. Now, I'm asking, so in your relationship with, mm -hmm. with Instagram and social media, how does that affect you? Because people say the wildest stuff sometimes. What you mean, like, affect on my relationship? Mm -hmm. Uh, it don't, because I keep it off of the, the, the ground, but for that reason, mm -hmm. I'm not into that. I feel like I already just got to put so much out for the world and strangers to know about me, and it's just like, yeah, the stuff I can keep sacred, I'm going to keep it sacred, because y'all don't, mm -mm, don't deserve all that. They they don't genuinely want to know because they just want to see us win. Y'all just want to know because y'all damn nosy. They nosy. Yeah, y'all nosy, just so y'all could... You know, stalk us and try to catch somebody slipping and do all that extra stuff. Yeah, no. And then next thing you know, some girl saying, oh, I slept with y'all. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm I'm straight on that. It's <laughs> something about you that's very grounded. Really? Yeah. What, what, is, you... what does that mean, grounded? Grounded, like just a humility about you. Like, yeah. you know, and, and, I, and I feel like you were that way before you got in the game. So where do, mm -hmm. you, where do you contribute that to? Probably what that? I was is saying. A contribute or a tribute? I think it's, it's some type of yeah. It's a butte. <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like, I'm really just grateful to be where I'm at. I don't take it for granted because it didn't happen overnight, and I really put in the work, and I've been told no so many times. I done dealt with so much stuff behind closed doors to get to where I'm at, so I just appreciate it. What did your people want you to do coming up? Like, your grandma, your, your yeah. mom? Like, what did they want you to do? It's so crazy because most people, like, family don't support, like, a artistic job. Like, they like, oh, go to college, da-da-da. Mm -hmm. But my, my folks never did that. Your dad managed you, right? Yeah, my daddy managed me. Mm -hmm. My mama did my business management. And everybody, it was just, like, a family effort thing. Like, my daddy used to pay for me to be on shows. Like, bro, can she hit the stage? I get you $200 right now. Like, they, they supported me 100%. That's probably... What attributes mm -hmm. to, attributes. to Let it too? Yeah. How does your dad feel now though? Because it's like you know he's still always in protective mode. Yeah. So when he hears something, I'm sure he's ready to go get a a baseball bat or hammer and go up somebody's head. Yeah, he Even don't play by me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he don't play by me for sure. But I think, um, for the most part, he's just happy to see me 
you know, doing what we what we pray for and what we prepare for for so long. Absolutely. You a daddy's girl? I don't know, cause when I was younger, I used to be a daddy's girl. But then I, you know, when I'm getting into like my grown woman, where well, when I think I'm a grown woman, like 16. Mm-hmm. I became more of a mama's girl. How'd your dad deal with that? Because you were drag racing with him. You was his little yeah, tomboy. Yeah, I know. And then all of a sudden, you I really was. I know. I I know. Like, Put them sneakers back on. It be, it still be, I'm not even going to act like we just got it down pat. We still be like back and forth. Like we get on each other's head. We have our time where we not fucking with each other because it's a lot to have, you know, your parent involved in your business, especially when they seeing you popping it like a willy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. It get a little weird. <laughs> but we figuring it out, and I know he got my best interest at heart regardless. And he know I love him to death. And I yeah, like I think- when you talk your shit on those songs, though. Yeah. I mean, it's fun, but I do be thinking, like, I wonder what her I wonder dad, what. <laughs> everybody what be her saying it. gotta say. Everybody be saying that. I think we just we just figuring it out as we go. Like, I how do that- you F like a thug? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, a song on the album. <laughs> what? When you F him like a thug. What your dad say about that song? <laughs> he ain't heard that song. <laughs> he ain't heard that, he that one. You can't play all the stuff. You just let them just read the track list and they know which ones to skip. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So how do you tell us <laughs> now? How do you do that? Okay, F him like a thug. It's just like taking authority. It just mean like not playing the like laid back role. It just mean like bring that ass down. Getting on top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slap him. Goodness maybe, gracious. maybe. See, I think fa- fathers, we just protective <laughs> and like <sighs> it's anxiety. You have you have a lot of anxiety when you have children, period. But when you have daughters, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So yeah. you just you're you're overly protective. And I guess I can see where that could come off as like, give me some space, pops. Yeah, and that's what it it was a lot of that in like in the beginning stages, like when I'm fresh off the rap game and I'm like getting my first car, my first apartment. I remember being like, okay, I want to cuss in my music now. And he was like, no. How old were you at the time? <laughs> I was probably like 17. I get it. 17, still kind of, you know. I, went, I wasn't line. trying to talk about popping it like a wheelie. I was just trying to be like, man, fuck these bitches. <laughs> but he was like, yeah, no. Do you remember the first time you heard a lyric like a pop it like a wheelie? Um, You know, this is probably hypocritical of my daddy. <laughs> but... <laughs> He for sure was playing Trina and Kim and stuff, and that go back to that color. Like, I grew up, like, my daddy listened to female rappers. Mm-hmm. He loved um, Left Out of Death. He loved, loved, loved him some Left Out. So I grew up hearing that, and he a man. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't take 50% of our market away, girl. <laughs> well, no, like, and I will say, <laughs> you and 21 Savage have great chemistry on that song. Yeah. And in the video. We do. I think when I first cut the song, I already heard him on it. It's, we have another song called Pull Up mm-hmm. from my last album, and it's still that same sticky, like, choppy flow, and then it's just Atlanta culture. Like. And you really care a lot about what your videos look like, too, which we can yeah. appreciate. Yeah, oh, yeah, baby. I don't play by my videos. Like, I'm co-directing. I'm getting on the phone with the directors. I'm sending them my treatments, and they send me theirs, and I'm like, yeah, no, swap it with this. You know what I'm saying? And I want to know the budgets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As you should. Yeah. How long uh-huh. did it take you to learn the business? Uh, I, don't, I still don't think I've learned it um, in whole, but I just been, I'm a Capricorn too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I just, oh, for real. Mm-hmm. We just like that. Mm-hmm. We just like that. Like, I don't want to be a part of nothing if I don't know what's really going on yeah. for real. And that's that's also what um, people always be like, well, why didn't you sign up the right game? Why didn't you sign up the right game? I didn't know what was going on. Like, I didn't want to sign on the dotted line. I don't even know what the, I'm signing. That's smart. Yeah, and I was so young. I'm like, yeah, no, too much. And I loved when I saw you on Angie Martinez and what you said about uh, your haters. And you was like, if they if they hating on me, yeah. you just might as well figure out a way to be a fan. Yeah, because, baby, I'm going to try to prove you wrong. They always say that about me. Like, you know what's so crazy? Big Energy, it debuted on the Bubbling Under um, on Billboard. And I was like, okay, babe. Everybody was making fun of me. They're like, Oh, yeah, you thought this was going to go up. It's bu- bubbling under. Okay. Now I'm number 14. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. So that's what your dad need to do. Your dad need to say, I bet you can't stop rapping about <laughs> sex. <laughs> 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 and then that'll, that'll I'm make crying. you stop. No, then I'm going to play him another song where I'm not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Were you the little kid that used to make come rap? 
at holidays? <laughs> like when all the family was around? Lotto, come do that little rap and that dance. No, you. I, I, they would make me dance. Okay. Which is so crazy because I swear up and down I can't dance no more. I don't know what it left my body, but I used to think I was going to be a background dancer. Really? I was reading one of my um, journals from <laughs> elementary the other day, and they was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said I was going to be Beyonce's backup dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I swear to God. I swear to God. Not a bad goal, but there's bigger goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah life is crazy. Man, I want to talk about some of these lyrics and songs, but I'm going to save it for lip service or something. Oh, shit. I'm scared. I'm scared of lip service. That's no, why no. I'm glad when we when we did it the other time it was, it was on Zoom. Zoom. I was like, ooh, child. <laughs> now wait till we get you in person. But you talk so much shit on your songs that yeah. it's just hard for us not. <laughs> have, you, have you ever done a sex tape? Yeah. Welcome Daddy. to the service. <laughs> Lotto Daddy. Yeah. Are you scared that it's like, do you have it? Did you erase it? No, what? I'm sure it's long gone. You sure. sure? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy! You have one? Wait, like Daddy. my first relationship. That shit about to be an NFT. Why would you even <laughs> no, say that, Lotto? No, it's not. It's gone. It's gone. You sure? Yeah. Is he gone? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> she said that very... <laughs> he long gone. He long gone. But, but he's not dead. He just... She don't mess with him no more, right? Or yeah, no, no, no. He not dead. Okay. Oh. I'm not trying to say that. I don't wish that on him. I'm just he's saying he's long gone. He's dead to me. He long gone. Uh, I don't like this for you. This is getting awkward. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even like that, that this could exist. I don't do it. This is like before I was like super late. I don't do that no more. Like me and my man, we don't do that. No more taping, no more. Not even no. on the phone. I mean, that like, this Based is awkward. <laughs> this is awkward. Does your daddy know about this? <laughs> no. Do your daddy know about what you do? <laughs> no. No. He don't know. As he shouldn't. What is he going to say when he sees this, this interview, Lotto? He just going he gonna to skip to the next part. <laughs> he going to wait for y'all to change the subject. <laughs> now, I got to ask you a question. This is a serious question, but oh, I have boy. to say, your teeth are amazing. Thank you. Are they real? Are they, they expensive. Oh, no. They okay. fake. All right. They fake as hell. They, 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 um, they fake. You know, we don't do the big cheap teeth. I'm That's about, embarrassing. I'm about to do the same thing, but I got to get braces. So after oh, I, get, I had braces. Yeah, after I get the braces, I'm getting some. I just wanted perfect teeth, but I had braces, and I had straight teeth and everything, like, mm -hmm. just being extra for no reason. It's a great investment. Yeah, it is. I got them done when I was 19. Oh, you bank did it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Now, aside from music, you you seem like a, a very marketable person all around. So what are some really? other things that Big Lotto wants to do? I want to act. Mm -hmm. I want to act like I really want to be in somebody movie or like scripted television. I don't, I don't want to do like reality TV no more, but I want to do something scripted for sure. I had like a big opportunity. I probably can't speak on that, but I had a big opportunity before the pandemic. And I was just like so sad that it didn't go through. What was it? Was it rap shit? No, it was a scripted TV show. Yeah, I'm saying, was it the that's show a rap show shit? That's on, that's... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. And know. you couldn't do it because of... I guess like... Production stopped or something? Yeah. Oh, the show didn't continue. The show didn't stop. Or did it? No, it continued, but at the time it was like a break or something. I don't know. No, I feel like you could do that. that Call me, though. <laughs> Call me back. She's available. Write your own stuff. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I want to do like a mini um, documentary with this album because I've been like having a videographer follow me around and I just want to show like the making of 777 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I want them to like show the real stuff like when I be crying in the studio when I be calling my A&R's cussing them out why you crying in the studio what makes you cry <sighs> everything um Thinking stuff not getting clear no Charlemagne oh. <laughs> no no <laughs> You cry when stuff can't be cleared? What, with, with, like samples and stuff? No, just like... like Frustration. Yeah, frustration. Just gotcha. too much at once. Like the um the remix that was like... I've been sitting on this remix so long, like, y'all don't even know, child. It'd it be a lot of stuff, like, behind the scenes, like, people blocking stuff for me and not letting stuff go through. Like, it was a lot of songs that didn't make the album. And just, I just get frustrated sometimes and I just be feeling like, the world is picking on me. Why would, they, why would they block something from you? I haven't, like, you. I think I'm just, I think I'm just that bitch. And I think I'm a threat. Did you mm. do the, the remix with the artist in the studio? No. Um, but it was like via FaceTime and Zoom and stuff like that. But the artist was in LA. So, female artist from LA. All right, guys. 
Hmm. Y'all is slick. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm pacing myself so I don't. I don't mean she's from LA up. though. No, but she, she just lived there. there. <laughs> I ain't say. I ain't say. Y'all said that. <laughs> Envy said it. Do you think you think uh, <laughs> female rappers get more hate than? We do. Yeah. It's not even a think thing. We do for sure. Like mm-hmm. what I spoke on in that big boy interview. Like a male can't relate to that. Period. Nobody's trying to sleep with you for a feature. Nobody's. Shut up, Charlamagne. I'm dead. What? <laughs> no. You've heard some stories in this no. industry. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. We a little older than you, Milano. The 90s, early no. 2000s. Wow. No. Some lot of guys. No. No. A lot of guys, no. lot of guys no. got some stories. It'd be a lot of bullying and stuff going on because mm-hmm. they know, like, you know, you're not going to do a male like that. And I feel like they, and like you said earlier, they pit the women against each other so much. Yeah. It's like only one person could really yeah. be like, and they'll be like the biggest artists and they just hate each other, but they both the biggest, you know, as far as being women. And then they also act like you can't compare, like we're in a different category than men. You can't compare yeah. women to men. Like you can't just be the greatest. When people talk about like who's in your top five rappers, you barely ever hear people name women. Right. And baby, I'm going to be clear when I, when people be asking me mine, I always say Nikki in there for sure. My favorite rapper is a woman, uh, Rhapsody. Oh, for real? Uh, absolutely. That's hard. I met her a couple times. She cool. She's so humble. So Rhapsody Nikki's on the remix? <laughs> who's, in, who, who's embraced you? Like what? What? What female? The artist? first female to embrace me and continues to embrace me to this day is Trina. I always give Trina her flowers Trina. because she Trina. gave me mm-hmm. a feature when I was independent. Mm. Trina she be seen, showing love. No, she, she do like rappers in particular. She, she do with nothing in return. Like I really love me some Trina. She's so genuine, so humble. She was like the first person that reached out to me and just. Trina. Did a lot of stuff for me. He's just a good human. Trina's just a good yeah. person. Yeah, she 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 definitely go the extra mile for me. Um, Cardi put me in the in the WAP video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, she posted my last album when I dropped the album. She's done interviews. We've done interviews together. She sent me a voice note. Actually, she sent me a voice note. Now that I'm thinking about it, just telling me like, um, you know, just not to worry about everything and just congratulations and stuff. Dope. Well, we love to see it, and I want to say I got a little sneak preview of the album. Oh, you and did? I love it. And I always say that I, when people ask me like what, what artists I like now, I always mention your name. For real? Mm-hmm. That means a lot. I put a lot into my craft. For real, I've been recording this since the end of 2020, so I hope people like it as much as I do. Well, let's get into what, it. What, what, what does success look like to you before we get out of here? Like what is success. for this project? Just this album? Yeah. Because I, mm-hmm. I feel like you got a lot of things that you're yeah. gonna have done in the future, but this album in particular, what does success look like? Um, I wanted to do better than my last album, sales wise. Um, I think this album deserves some nominations. I think, long as people just see my growth, I think that's that's the success in it. Um, I, my my objective was to showcase my versatility and kind of just reintroduce myself to the world on a, like a clean, positive slate. I'm grown up now, and I just got two hands on my own steering wheel when it comes to my career and I want people to see, hear, feel me without people having to say so on my career. All right, well let's get into Big Lotto. Let's get into a record now. You what you wanna you wanna go into Willie or you wanna do the remix featuring Nikki? Which one? Y'all is crazy. <laughs> I don't want your dad to hear Willie. <laughs> Oh, first time. Is there something that else is crazy. Play? <laughs> let's get into Willie oh, featuring no. 21 Savage. All right. Yeah. Well, I love 21, by the way. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.